Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Romanovich, Auto Surgeon. We are back at it with a whole different build. Something that just came up, unexpected. I played it and we won it. So here we go. I'm just about 30 minutes out. Appreciate you guys all support that you guys are tuning in. If you guys are new to this channel and you guys like these little videos, make sure to tap that subscribe button. Hit the little like and let me know down in the description what do you think about this build and what we should do to it. I don't know exactly the full extent of how long and uh, what all I will be using it for, but uh, I'm sure it'll be an exciting build as all the previous ones have been. But I catch you guys once I get there. Made it to the location. You guys see there's a bunch of cars behind me. There's Copart out here in uh, Georgia North. Hopefully we get this uh, day going because uh, I went to two banks, both were closed and I try to make a cashier check. So hopefully everything will work out. Everything is uh, running real slow and there's a ton of guys already picking up over there. There's like 20 different trailers. So hopefully we get in there fast um, and then I'll uh, catch you guys there. All right, guys, so we're finally waiting. Got the 2016 Silverado with a trailer out here. Here's the setup for today. Those boys are working hard, so we're gonna have to wait for a little bit, but we're loading up soon. Copart, Athens Highway. Here we go, got it all ready. It's gonna be a nice haul. Hopefully everything goes well. And get this thing loaded quick. Here she comes, guys. All right, so let's just hope she's in the great condition we think she is <laughs> all right here you go she's loaded up time to wrap it up because it's starting to rain so i'm gonna go ahead and strap her down quick let's get out of here Well, here we go, guys. She has finally come home. So here's the one of the damages. I guess this was the first damage right here. So hit on the door. We need to get a door replaced, or maybe we'll be able to pop that out. It doesn't look too difficult. We're gonna need a trim right here. Shouldn't be hard to find. I already found some at a uh, junkyard. Everything else looks uh, pretty good so far. Here's a view from this side. Very nice. This, I definitely didn't see. I, I thought I saw something that looked like a glare on the auction pictures, but um, it's no big deal. That shouldn't cost too much. Here we go. There's the rear. Everything thing looks uh, pretty good around. Not too shabby. So here's the back seats. There's a color, this is the interior. I guess it's like a beige color. A little bit of trashed inside. That's okay, a lollipop, hey. I'll put that on the bids, anybody wants it. Try to pull this back. All right. Here we go, very spacious. 
I love it. These seats are actually really clean, except a little bit of a, uh, what is this, leaves. I actually thought this was a rip on the picture, but actually they're all in perfect condition. Very nice. Here's the inside. Pretty much, it's amazing. We don't have to pretty much do anything here. Maybe a very nice detail. Steering wheel might need to get swapped out because it's so dirty. Probably couldn't get cleaned up or anything like that, but look at that. We even got a garage door opener. Might be able to make it work with our new garage. Let's see. Ah, they didn't leave us sunglasses to sell. How about that? All right, we got a full, oh, wow. I did not know this. This is a full Panamaric, however you say it, roof. That is pretty awesome. Something got mixed up over here, so it might not be working. Yeah, they just tucked it back there. I'm sure the other piece probably works, but uh, it's completely dead, so we can't even turn it over. We were able to actually hook up my uh, jumper box, turn on the key, and just put it in neutral so we can roll it backwards. Other than that, guys, I mean, it's pretty minty condition. Even these little sleeves are perfectly clean. Let's go check out the front. Ah, we do need a cap for the lock. No worries, not a big deal. Here's this one. Just a nice detail, probably. Should buff all that out. Bunch of junk. COVID masks, whoever wants it, going on sale right now. Pretty uh, standard, I guess you could say, in here. Nothing uh, crazy. Um, this is nice. I have one of these jacks, so that's pretty cool. They come with Audis as well. Pretty nice. Let's see right here. All right, for your cigars that I don't smoke. I'm glad this one's not a smoke because all the other ones, like the two previous ones we bought, it was smoked, so it kind of sucked. But, um, yeah, there's a, hopefully, the correct key. Looks like it, yeah. This is a special lug nut key to remove your uh, bolts or to remove your lug nuts, for se. A little bit of trash there. Let's see. Oh, what's the, oh, I won't touch it. Just, uh, I'll get some gloves later on, maybe come back, and then uh, we could play around with it a little bit but i did want to go ahead and try to fire it up <laughs> but i don't ha i have the jumper box i just don't have my code code reader i would love to actually read all the codes and actually see what's going on before i fire it up you know if it doesn't actually like, say something that's bad with the engine i don't want to cause something to make it worse there's a free spoon for you guys but yeah other than that guys it's pretty awesome it the thing is i saw it listed on the um copart website i was looking looking and uh, it looked pretty clean it it said clear title and uh the weird part is i wanted to pick it up and um they said the title is pending so i don't know what that's supposed to mean i mean obviously i gotta wait for it but um hopefully it'll come in here soon i'll have to be giving them a call probably monday so gonna be bugging them about it because that's that's not cool they need to get the thing moving um otherwise they love to take their sweet time but yeah i personally like it mainly i was looking because it's a it's a it was a mechanical so i contacted one of my buddies and he said it probably needs an engine because one of these uh special uh care chain tensioners they fail and uh you have to get a new one and get it replaced before this whole thing happens because they can bend rods can, it can do a bunch of stuff that can uh, mess up your whole engine and resolve you in uh, doing a whole engine swap. I've done an engine swap on the 2013, I believe, Acura ILX. It should be on my channel. Um, maybe not. It, it might be, maybe not. I know there's pictures on my Instagram. Go ahead and go check it out as a Romanovich Auto Surgeon. It'll, of course, be down in the description. It should be, have some photos on there. Um, so it was really easy. I've done it on a Honda Civic that is actually sitting in front of me. Right there. Done an engine swap on that. So it shouldn't be hard, I think. The It was a transmission swap on the a Acura. Okay, sorry. But I have believe I've done two engine swaps. Pretty sure. If one, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, it looks like there's actually a plenty of space under the hood talking about under the hood let's go check it out um 
it looks fairly decent under there nothing too crazy so let's see if i can get this open for you guys let me prop it open one second let me swift you guys around all right so here's the engine bay aside from uh, all these leaves it's almost like it's been sitting somewhere for a while or it's just been sitting under a tree while the person drove it so um yeah hopefully everything will be well to me it looks like uh, there's actually plenty of space to actually pull this engine straight up so i think this swap is going to be very easy the only tricky thing is that transmission. I feel like it's same exact as my Golf uh, 2005. And um, yeah, that's gonna be a little rough. We're gonna have to figure out with that, but I can remove all those things. That's no big deal. Or we can just drop it straight down. So I, I feel like I would wanna go straight up. So, but we'll see. We'll uh, diagnose it a little further more when I can bring my code reader but fluids look all good i've checked the oil it is uh perfect to its perfect level it looks clean as well so not not a blown head gasket or anything like that but you know you never know with these cars whenever they say mechanical so it might be as simple as clearing the codes and fire right up and drive gosh look at those beautiful clouds behind me but um yeah so there was actually a 2014 i believe 2014 or 11 i think 14 a4 that we uh purchased right before the tornado hit um and uh literally the, the, the night before and it was also didn't want to start up didn't want to turn the key at all and uh i just cleared the codes and it would fire up instantly but it turned out that he actually had a blown head gasket so sadly we don't have that car anymore after the tornado tornado uh took it away so but yeah what do you guys think of this project? I think it's pretty, pretty awesome. I will definitely do a price reveal on this thing. It was super cheap. Um, once I get the uh, price of the engine, which already one of my buddies has one, he's uh, gonna be hooking me up with it. I just have to order some chain, the cam chain, the uh, tensioner kit and the whole thing, new cam chain, levers, the tensioner, and a few more pieces. But other than that, I think this should be a very quick turnaround, especially this this door right here being the only body damage. Um, but I don't know, I'm wanting to keep it actually. Uh, I haven't decided exactly yet, but uh, what do you guys think? I know they go around like six and a half thousand right now, up to seven, so I personally like it. Yeah, I've always wanted an SUV. I, I love how big they are. But, uh, all right, so I'm mumbling too much. Um, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys stay tuned. This is going to be pretty sweet. Never done a swap in this beast. If you guys are looking for a swap video, swap video is coming your way, so stay tuned. Make sure to tap that subscribe button, hit the little bell to get notifications, and make sure to leave a like if you guys like this video. If you don't, I'm sorry. Let me know how I can improve, and I'll do my best to make those adjustments. Love you guys. Catch you in the next one. Stay warm. Stay safe. Peace. So I just hooked up the jumper box. I do want to go ahead and show you guys the mileage and all that. Just so you guys can uh, maybe do your guesses on how much this thing could have cost. Well, lights don't turn off. That's fine. So there you go. 66,000 miles. Let's go ahead and turn the key. See what happens. I'm not going to turn it all the way. Oh. It died. Why did it die? All right, hit the hit boost again. There we go. All lit up. There we are. I don't know if I want to turn it. Let's see. Volkswagen information. So we got the basics engine, which that stuff should fade away as soon as you start it over. So, kind of want to try it. Let's let's see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing. All right, so it doesn't even try to turn over nothing at all. So it might be a might be a issue for sure with the uh, car.